Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Guess who is here? It is not Voldemort. It happens to be... Just by the way, to mention. Here we go. Way to mention. Here we go. So go to the top of these stairs. It's pretty easy. And it's time to take them out. But uh, yeah, just I wanted to give you a heads up of what's coming up next in my... Uh, series of commentary walkthroughs. Yeah, take that, buddy. How come you're, like, sticking through the stairs? Bad program. But, uh, just to mention what I was gonna say about what uh, walkthroughs I want to do next, I plan on doing, um, uh, Infamous Second Son, which is coming out soon, and, um, I think I'm gonna do Bioshock soon. I've tried it a few times, but I haven't been doing so well with the commentary at the beginning of it to, make, to introduce everybody to it, so um, um, that'll happen soon enough. But yeah, this guy stands no chance if you notice. And make sure not to attract anybody else in this house. Just try to only attract Dr. Salvador. Because the other guys can get quite irritating later. Up, oh, up, uh, yeah. There's the guy I was talking about not attracting. Don't attract him. Anyway, I think the bathroom will stay closed. Yes, it will. And there's still somebody in it, so uh, just don't disturb them, and they'll leave you alone. And back out here, as I said, there are a few other guys that you will want to take care of. Quickly. Because, you know, we all don't like them. And they can cause a lot of harm in those pitchfork things. I mean, those axes. But yeah, it's working out well, and I think this is going pretty well. I mean, we've only gotten hit like twice in the entire game so far. Once it's the with the dynamite. Yep, another guy. And there we have, I think, another spin. This guy seems so confident. That's what's funny. And he gets his head blown away. <laughs> So what happens with confidence, your head will just swell and swell until it blows away. <laughs> yep. See, now we made another one of the women. They usually carry knives and are not really a big threat, so, uh... Come on. Yeah. Also, you know, sticking through, sticking through the environment. It happens when you make a game in 2005 and then refit it in 2007 for the Wii. So, uh, yeah. But this game, I have to say, for its time, looks great. It's a great game. Really, just just my advice is play this game if you haven't. But you probably have, because that's why you'd be watching the walkthrough. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't played the game, just play it. I really recommend the Wii version, as I've said, though, because I just find it easier. And I find it to be a better version generally. Let's try to pull a trick here. Oh, come on. Time for a nice little trick. I think I got a few too many incendiary grenades, so I'm going to try this. It may fail epically, but I'm hoping it'll work. Oh yeah. That's so cool. Take that, guys. You're still alive? Yeah, a few of them are still alive. But you have to admit, that worked pretty well. Or at least I'm going to say that. And it got rid of that space for the incendiary grenade. And we just took them out like that. I know, so easy. And so now it is time to go back to that village we love so much. Pueblo. Remember the place? Okay, so there's nothing actually here, just to point out. But we're gonna fight everybody anyway. Just because they have to loot. Oh man, I almost got it. But I backed up in time, so. Uh... Oh no! No! It's not fair. Oh, these guys don't fight. For me. Okay, we're getting hurt here. Okay. You're still alive, though. Golden egg. Yeah. Okay. No, this isn't good. 
But uh, we're hurt, so it's time to use that yellow uh, herb. Yellow herb. Blast your face away. Come on, guys. Come on in. Come in on to my house. You gotta love the shotgun, though. But sorry, I got hurt there, guys. It's just I made a mistake there. Just okay. Come on. These guys are pretty easy to take down, as I said. So, uh, but uh, there's nothing that's gonna restock in the village. It'll, it's just left as you left it, pretty much. So, don't leave it in bad shape with a broken down door. Is the lesson, like I did. I was hoping this door was gonna be closed and I can knife through it epic just as a trick and I'm sure I'll show it off later but um, I can really recommend this is a good trick and we're gonna, we're just gonna get out of here I don't care about battling everyone just because they're probably not worth it so uh, go here and we got that insignia key earlier so take it it'd be a pretty bad sign if it didn't if you like forgot the insignia key so don't forget the insignia key Okay, my shotgun only goes up to 8, right? That's what I thought. I was hoping I wasn't out of ammo. <laughs> okay. Let's take out this, and uh, there's some handgun here. I thought I saw some a second ago. Never mind, there's handgun there in Ada's mission, at least. So we'll save quickly. But of course, you know, there's still more of this part coming up, so, uh, yeah. Professional. And we're gonna continue, because, you know, Epic game, epic times. This time, uh, if you look at the ceiling here, you'll find this nice little whatever it is, candle. Doesn't really matter because it has a spindle in it. And we love, love, love spindles. Or at least I do. Also, I recommend as soon as you get a treasure, sell it to the next merchant you run into. I mean, don't go looking for a merchant to sell it to, but um, unless it's a certain time when I should say it's worth it. But um, I can recommend going to sell things to a merchant the next time you see a merchant. So uh, just because you don't want to wait till you reach the end of an area, because you will need every penny you got so you can upgrade stuff. Elegant headdress, spinel, be some nice stuff there. Another spindle. So the elegant headdress is actually quite a funny item. I'm gonna mention it in a minute. Got something that might interest you. Also, didn't we already get introduced to this kind? Got of, a but uh, whatever. Of good things on sale, stranger. Yes, I know the blue medallions. What are you selling? Okay, first sell some stuff. Now you can sell the elegant headdress, but I don't recommend it. You should really keep this elegant headdress. Well, first I'm gonna sell these five stones, but you should really keep it. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Even though it's worth ten thousand, because this is a joke. I'm gonna mention ah, later. Because it says it is you. one of a kind. Don't believe it. And I really have to show that joke off. I'm just desperate what to show it off. So. I'm gonna tune up my TMP though, because you will need your capacity, <laughs> is that old? reload speed, is that old? your firepower. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Let's see. What do we have to buy? I don't think there's anything useful. We have TMP stock. Okay, so here's the thing. Stock will help you if you're not playing on the Wii. If you're playing on the Wii, then it it won't help you, like, at all. Stock allows you to aim better. But with the Wii, you already have great aim, so it's going to save you a few thousand pesetas and a lot of inventory space to not buy stock. Let's see. Come on. Bird's nice. As I said, you, it's really easy to aim, and it's something I really love doing because in the Wii version, just because you can aim so well. Okay, let's see, we're running out of space, but we still have some, yeah. Okay, right there. And what is in the nest? Oh, it's a cutscene. Cutscene in a nest. That's revolutionary technology. Okay, let's see. So, uh, let's get this over here, down here. Uh, sorry, fish. You're gonna have to go. Aw, oh, come on. Keep me. So, yeah, we're losing fish left and right. Got some crows up. Oh, I'm fine. 
But none of these crows are actually important, just to point out. Come on. There she is. You will not like her. Just because she's kind of painful like all the other villagers. Take that. Okay, we don't have a lot of time, so let's knife her. That's enough time. Just playing carefully here, though. Gotta play carefully to see. Even if it will cost you a little bit of time and stuff. But yeah, these guys are pretty much an actual small amount of a threat, so uh, be careful when battling them. Or at least be slightly careful. Later on, enemies will become easier. Don't really need that. And it's time to get some more of them blue medallions. Remember those guys from the farm? Here you go. Eight. Nine. Nine of fifteen. But yes, there are a lot of blue medallions around here. As I said, you want all fifteen for no reason. I'm just going to show you all of them. You want at least ten. There's ten. And here you have some nice gold. And some handguns. And another box. Oh, shotgun. You have to keep killing me by making me not be able to pick you up. But the reason I don't just combine the green herbs is because I don't like doing that. It's not really worth it. I mean, combining the green herbs is kind of a pain. And even if it will allow you to get up an item, then you can't combine it with a red herb, and then the red herb's useless, and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a bad situation. Let's get this nest here. Also, there's the church bell. If you shoot the church bell, a lot of enemies will show up. Three per every time you hit the church bell. Okay, gotta be careful here, though. There might be somebody else. I think there is. That's it. Be careful. And the guy still can't parasite, which you may not know what I mean yet, but uh, you will soon. So, uh, just knife this guy. Come on. There. There you go. Took them all out. Up here we have this nice uh, incendiary grenade. Oh, come on. I can't take it. Oh, uh, whatever. Over here we have a uh, medallion. There you go. 11 of 15. Uh, one sec, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, um... Now back here we have more enemies. One of them has dynamite. And there you go, you can take out two with one blow. Back here, another medallion. Take it out. Okay. And right there. Insignia. So, turn it by three first. There's a little pattern here. And then I believe you switch to four. Then go back to three. Oh wait, no, I meant. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I got the puzzle wrong. Let's try this again. Anyway, try this again. Go three, 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 four, 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 and three. Sorry about that. So sorry. Anyway, there you go. So that's that's that part. And we have everything, so it's now time to go to the next area. Which should be easy to go to. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! <laughs> so we're going to end this part right here, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time with part 7.